Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to do a spiritual reading for the collective. This is to see what spirit wants you to know in regards to your spiritual path. So this is what you need to know right now. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of what spirit wants you to know when it comes to your spiritual path is we're proud of you. Wow. Like when I saw this, I was ecstatic. So when it comes to you, spirit is proud of you. That doesn't mean that you haven't made mistakes along the way. Okay, that doesn't mean that you've always made the best decisions. We all messed up. But regardless, I feel as though some of you are at least realizing things about yourself or realizing um, you're realizing the truth about certain situations. But regardless, like I said, they're they're very proud of you where you are right now. So even if it hasn't been a perfect journey. And the journey isn't perfect for any of us. Your ancestors, your guides, your guardian angels, God wants you to know they're proud of you. <laughs> All right. Um, some of you guys um, are definitely clear audience. You've been having inner thoughts or you've been hearing things. OK, so some of you definitely have the gift, the gift of clear audience. Spirit wants you to listen to your inner thoughts. OK, listen to your inner thoughts because that's how they're giving you downloads. OK, so let's see what else comes out. Spirit, give me more in regards to what everyone needs to know in regards to their spiritual path currently. What does everyone need to know, Spirit, in regards to their spiritual path currently? All right, two more shuffles. So yeah, your ancestors, your your guides, your your guardian angels, Spirit is proud of you. They're proud of you. So even if you feel as though you're not doing everything right, hey, you know, we're in the flesh. So we're not perfect, but there's something where you're you're trying, okay? You're getting somewhere. Some of you, it's just changing the way you think about things or the way you see things, okay? So at the bottom of the deck, we have be kind. So spirit wants you to be kind to yourself, all right? Make sure that you are... Um, you know, speaking highly of yourself, complimenting yourself, being kind to others, only allowing those in your energy that are kind to you. OK, so make sure that you're being gentle with yourself. OK, for some of you, you definitely have the gifts of healing. You are able to heal people just by being kind for some of you. And you may not even be aware of that. OK. There's something about the heart chakra here. Some of you heal through the heart chakra. It's like you touch people's heart just by being kind to them. Okay. Give me more spirit. And it's crazy because some of you, you've had a blocked heart chakra. Okay. Like there's something that had emotional, emotion, something from an emotional um, standpoint or something that was very emotional for you. Whatever you went through. You're able to heal others by sharing your experience. Give me more spirit in regards to what everyone needs to know. What does everyone need to know, spirit? Thank you. So we have use your intuition. That did kind of come out crossing there. So spirit wants you to make sure that you are using your intuition. For some of you, um, make sure... Because if you don't use your intuition, you will be blocking your own spiritual gifts. Some of you are very intuitive. And this is something that was handed to you by your ancestors or that was, um, you know, passed down by your ancestors. OK, for some of you, um, you may need to work with your ancestors. OK, because there are certain gifts that you have that are blocked right now or that you haven't tapped into. And if you, you know. Work with your ancestors if you haven't already. If you work with your ancestors, they're going to unblock some type of spiritual gift that you have. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Also, for some of you, you may have family members, ancestors, family members that are energy vampires. Make sure that um, you're not letting people just dump their negative energy on you or dump their problems on you. It's okay to be kind, but... You got to, you know, you got to shield yourself from those energy vampires. 
for some of you, like I was saying before, you're able to heal people. You're able to heal people just by being kind or giving them advice. All right. But see, the thing about it is, you know, for some of you, like, have you ever given someone advice or listened to someone about their problems? And then after you got finished listening to them or the conversation was over with, you felt drained or felt some type of way. And but they but they're like, oh, thank you so much. Like, I feel so much better, even though you didn't do anything but converse with this person. You didn't technically take any physical action to heal their issue other than choosing to communicate with them but see some of these people are energy vampires they love your good energy okay they love it and so and like i said for some of you it's family members so be aware of that okay give me more spirit in regards to what everyone needs to know currently what does everyone need to know currently spirit what does thank you all right. So we have drink more water and that came out in reverse. So for some of you, you're needing to drink more water. It will actually even improve your intuition. OK. Drink more water. Hmm. Some of you may be drinking too much soda, uh, Red Bull, energy drinks or something like that. There's something that you're not drinking, um, that you're drinking too much of, okay? And they're wanting you to drink more water. You're not getting enough water for some of you. They're wanting you to reject um, overindulging in things that are not good for you, okay? Rejecting those things is protection for you, okay? It's going to protect you. They're actually saying by rejecting these things, you're going to be able to pray better, meditate better, and connect with source on a, on a whole nother level. Give me more spirit. Okay, so we have heart chakra, and that came out in reverse. So I was saying before, for some of you, um, there has been issues with the heart chakra. Thank you for confirmation, spirit. There's been issues with the heart chakra where someone hurt you, and some of you haven't completely released that hurt. OK, but spirit wants you to be careful with that, because for some of you, you have a blocked heart chakra and it can cause spiritual blockages within you. So forgive those that have wronged you. Move on with your life and work on healing um, and balancing this heart chakra because it can affect other aspects of your life. It can even affect your money, because just think about it. Have you ever gone through something with a loved one, whether it was a relative um uh, someone that you were dealing with or something like that and then you go to work you can't even focus right okay so what does that affect your money it affects your performance which could affect your money okay it affects the heart chakra is very important because it it, it can throw off any of the chakras can throw off everything it, it can throw off balance but it's so important to heal that heart chakra there's something you haven't released okay see spirit is saying again rejection is protection there's something that didn't work out in your favor and you're actually being protected you're being protected give me more spirit in regards to what everyone needs to know in regards to their spiritual path what does everyone need to know currently all right so we have ancestors that actually came out in reverse so again i was telling you some of you guys need to connect with your ancestors okay you need to con you may need to connect with your ancestors your ancestors um are going to be able to help you heal certain things like i said before some of you your ancestors were they were they're healers okay they also want you to eat healthier there are spiritual gifts that you have inherited and by eating healthier your gifts are going to be even more strong okay but yeah, some of you definitely need to work with your ancestors. So if you're not sure how to do that, then definitely research it because that's important. Or some of you may not be giving um, thanks or, you know, you're not acknowledging your ancestors and they want to be acknowledged. Your ancestors are your first line of defense. You know, that's your bloodline. Now, make sure that when you connect with your ancestors, you connect with those that are of your highest good, because that's just like with family now. You know, it sounds kind of, you know, it's it's a little 
blunt or rude to say this, but you know, some of us, we have family members we don't care for. That's just reality. Like you have certain family members that, you know, you really like and you have family members that you don't really care for. You know, you may love them, but not really care for them or care to be around them. Okay. So yeah, it's important to connect with those ancestors that are of your highest good because there may be some ancestors that don't care to work with you or don't care to, you know, um, to, to help you along your path. All right. So yeah, that's very important. Give me more spirit in regards to, wow, that one flew out. Okay. So toxic environment. So for some of you, um, you may be in a toxic environment. A toxic workplace there may there could be toxicity in the home okay there's some type of toxic environment so be aware of being in toxic environments meaning um lower vibrational places places where there are lower vibrational people do things to elevate the um i heard palo santo i heard that so some of you need to raise the um the vibration in your environment, okay? Like there may be a lot of fuss in your children. They may not get along with each other or something like that. Like there's something toxic within the environment. You're, you need to purify your environment. Also organize. I heard organize, okay? Organize. Um, give me more spirit in regards to what everyone needs to know currently. All right. So we have keep a positive mindset. All right. And that came out crossing. So with that being said, spirit is saying it's important for you to keep a positive mindset with it coming out crossing. It lets me know that some of you think negatively at times. Okay. There are negative thoughts that you have at times in regards to something that you went through in regards to some type of environment or someone in your environment, okay? But they want you to keep a positive mindset. Be kind to yourself, all right? Be um, Keep a positive mindset in regards to love. Some of you may feel like you may not find true love, okay? Hmm. Or that your environment or your situation won't get better. Keep a positive mindset. Also know that you are spiritually protected. You are spiritually protected. Look at that right next to it. Surrounded by angels. You're surrounded by angels. And for some of you, your third eye is opening. For some, you may be a little afraid of this. Okay. But spirit is say, saying, actually be happy about it because, you know, you're going to be, you're going to be on a whole nother level. Okay. So for some of you, that third eye is definitely opening. And your angels and your guides, ancestors, um, they're going to be able to, to reach you through that third eye or give you downloads and messages through it. Give me more spirit in regards to what everyone needs to know currently. What does everyone need to know currently, spirit? Okay. All right. So you are spirit spiritually protected now we just saw that it was so right this came out in reverse so it lets me know that for some of you and it's right beside ancestors you're spiritually protected but not as well as you could be because you may not be working with your ancestors or working with the right ancestors okay um but you are protected but they're also saying that you know there's some type of shadow work that you need to do or you need to continue doing some type of sh shadow work OK. Some of you may feel un like you're under spiritual attack. That may be why it's hard for you to keep a positive mindset. OK, you may feel like you're not spiritually protected when in reality you are. You are protected. But I'm telling you, these ancestors, they're they're coming through and they're acknowledging, hey, like, you know, either you're not working with certain ancestors that you need to that are extremely powerful or you haven't tapped into your ancestors at all. And if you do, you're going to be on a whole nother level when it comes to um, your spiritual protection. Because your ancestors, are they're going to be there for you. They're going to be there for you. But at the same time, some of you aren't calling on your ancestors. Okay? Hmm. They can also help you with this shadow work that you should be doing. Give me more spirit in regards. Thank you. All right, so we have released the past. So there's something in regards to the past that you guys are needing to release. 
is causing negative um, energy to linger. Some of you have like, there's a negative spirit that lingers around. And it's all because you're stuck on the past, which was someone that was toxic. Okay. So for some of you, like, for example, you know how you can um, have through intimacy, a person's spirits like spirits that are attached to them can connect to you and affect your life. Okay. So someone has some negative spirits in their energy. And if you don't release the past, you know, by you still keeping that close to you and not releasing it, that negative spirit that belongs to them will still linger around you. And we don't want that. We don't want that at all. Hmm. Yeah, I had to take out my blank cards, guys. I still had blank cards in here. <laughs> All right. So some of you, Spirit wants you to practice self-discipline because there's a karmic that's affecting your path. You are going to be tested, okay? You're going to be tested. So make sure you're using those inherited spiritual gifts, okay? Some of you are going through a spiritual awakening, but this spiritual awakening is going to heal you and open you up to to more gifts okay some of you your body will be healed once you eat healthier give me um two more cards spirit for what everyone needs to know currently what does everyone need to know currently spirit what does everyone need to know currently all right so we have take good care of yourself so for some of you you're not taking as good of care of yourself as you could you're taking care of everybody else but you're not taking care of yourself and for some of you there's going to be a test coming up you're going to be tested in regards to taking good care of yourself it could be where um it could be in regards to <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me it could be in regards to something that comes up where you should take care of yourself okay and um spirit is gonna test you to see if you do it so like for example let's say that someone from the past tries to come back and wants to be intimate with you test okay take good care of yourself give me more spirit in regards to what everyone needs to know currently Thank you. So we have crown chakra here. So for some of you, spirit is going to be using your crown chakra to communicate with you because you're highly intuitive. But at the same time, there's something that's distracting you from your mission or from your purpose. Something that's distracting you from your from your um, from your purpose or from your path. And for some with their eye opening right here but which also has to do with the third eye chakra for some of you you're not detaching from something it could be a thought it could be a person for some of you you're not using as much discernment when it comes to someone that's a distraction or something you have a lot of knowledge intuition when it comes to this person or situation but spirit is saying you need to trust in a higher source trust in the knowledge that you have use the wisdom that you have and detach because this person has a lot of negative energy and they also have some type of childhood trauma now for some of you you may have some type of childhood trauma something that you went through in your childhood okay and you need to definitely work on that i feel as though these negative people that come into your life if you haven't resolved these these childhood traumas then that's why they're um, attracted to you. For others of you, you attract people that are negative, that have negative energy attached to them. These people have childhood traumas and they're attached to you. So not attached to you, but attracted to you. So that's why it's so important to use that third eye. It's important to um, detach from people that have these traumas because, I mean, you can't heal everyone. So anything or anyone that's distracting you from your purpose, once you get rid of them, your intu your intuitive gifts are going to be on a whole nother level. Okay. Give me one more um, message spirit to close out this reading. What does everyone need to know? Give me one more card spirit to close out this reading. Okay. So we have shadow work. They're saying do the shadow work. 
You guys need to make sure that, you know, you're doing that going within. It's not fun. We know that. It's definitely not fun. But Spirit is saying it's vital. It's very important. Solar plexus chakra is at the um, bottom of the deck, which is about inner peace. Doing this shadow work is going to give you a lot of peace. It's going to um, make you e feel even more powerful. It's going to make you more powerful. It's going to give you more self-confidence, self-worth. Okay? Accepting yourself. Trusting and accepting your gut feelings. Okay? So with that being here, spirit is saying that there's something about inner peace, some something or someone that has affected your inner peace. You need to do that shadow work, okay? Because I feel as though whoever it is or whatever situation it is, it caused some confidence issues. It may have made you question your worth, okay? Mm. But yeah... And again, surrounded by angels and prayer, meditation, connect with source. So some of you definitely need to either connect with source or continue to connect with source. Pray. You're surrounded by angels. You really are. Okay. You're surrounded by angels. You are. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. All right, so that is the reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.